So when I turned 30, I was like, whatever, it wasn't that big of a deal. But when I got into my mid-30s, I definitely had a moment. I all of a sudden felt like my youth had died, like it disappeared. Like, where did it go? Okay, let's get ready for the way back. And it also didn't help that I was completely starting over from scratch. I couldn't help but ask myself, is it too late? Oh, it's like a... It's still, I have like nip... I have nipple tape on dress, and you can still see my nips. Or is this part of the shirt? You know, no, no, it's my nipple. You don't have your pasties? I have my pasties on, look. Oh, girl, you got rocket nipples. I got rocket nipples. It's because they're fake, that's why. <laughs> when you have fake boobs, you're always hard. Okay, God. Do we like this? Yes? No? Or do we go for breaker? Ugh! Are we supposed to use fork and knife for crepe? Yeah. Oh, so good. I have a semi-busy day today. I have two shows and that's about it. I have to say the avocados in France are very good. Is this like unclassy? It's unclassy, okay. We're gonna delicately cut up this crepe so I could eat it with my fork. I used to do all of the shows, like running around with my head cut off because I just wanted to be invited to all the shows. First of all, I, I was new to the scene, so I decided that I no longer need that, and I'm just gonna be very selective with the types of shows that I do. But it just feels really nice to be intentional and work with the brands that have supported me throughout the years. I don't think many people get a chance to start over again. And I think when you have that sense of like, oh, I'm gonna start fresh, I'm starting over, there's like this sense of like excitement, but also a little bit of anxiety too, because you're just like, what the fuck am I doing? I think starting over really means just a fresh set of eyes to everything. Like I always say, I was so jaded before, like I would be able to walk into the most extravagant show and not be like excited about it. Now that I have that ability to start over, I feel like a child again. Like I wake up and I'm like, okay, what do I get to see now? Like where, who do I get to meet today? The possibilities are endless. <laughs> Very colorful, blue. I'm not anti-marriage. I'm not for marriage. I'm not anti-marriage. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But there's one thing very specific that I've learned along the way. I think there's this kind of fantasy about once you're married, you're set for life, like your partner's for life, and you're able to kind of drop your guard a little bit, which is true. I think that happens naturally. It's like when you sign a contract, you think that, okay, we're locked in, right? This is a good, solid deal. You just start feeling like things are automatic, like you're supposed to just wake up and be loved and feel loved, but no, it doesn't work that way. Even when you're married, you have to work towards it. You have to wake up every day with an intention of, I'm gonna be loving this person, even though things are hard. Whether I'm married or not, like I never want to lose that sensibility of trying and becoming better every single day, whether it's with myself or it's with my partner. And I think that is a beauty of starting over is that you're much more intentional going into relationships. And I don't know, do you guys feel that way?
She likes hats. This too. Thing. Oh, perfect. That's perfect. Oh, it's so cute. My sister's having a baby next month, so it's giving me all the excuses to buy really, really cute baby clothes. Even though I know that's so not practical, I should know this stuff. Like, you always end up wearing like the cheapest shit when you have babies and not like the, these fancy things, but it's just so cute to have. It's a little Monday through Friday or Sunday onesie set. So cute. We all thought she was gonna have a boy, but she's having a girl, so. So I've been coming to Sanukia for many, many years. Every time I come to Paris, it's like the best udon you could find, I think, in the world. There's always a long ass line, but I'm willing to wait in the line because it's that good. Because usually it's so stuffy in there. That's true. And the winter is not bad because it's so cold, but... <laughs> okay, so when you come here, you have to get the lunch set because you get all of this. This is the uh, fried chicken, which is so good. Egg, and then this kind of blended rice situation. It's amazing. It's so, so good. <laughs> This woman is like looking at me. <laughs> When I was starting over in my career, that pivotal moment in my life, I was going into a brand new field that I was not really educated from. I, I'm not a nose. People would also point fingers and be like, who is she? What does she know about fragrance? But I realized the only thing that truly matters is my growth. So I think I heard this somewhere from somebody, and I'm totally gonna butcher this because I don't remember exactly what the saying was. When you're in a place where you're happy or feel good about yourself, that means that you're still in the journey. It's not the end. And that should actually bring you a lot of excitement and joy and hope. Like imagine like reading a book and you're like right in the middle of it and you're like I'm just unhappy with how this is going so you just end it there. Like that's not giving justice to the book. What if it works out? For me to try and know that it wasn't a success, it gives me more clarity than not trying and not knowing because then you'll always live with that question mark in the back of your mind. I know a lot of people are more so afraid of falling and failing. To be honest, most people don't even really notice or care that much, except for yourself. I just allow myself to enjoy the process and at least give it its chance, you know? What if it does work out? What does that look like? 